Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. This month, you got Brett, you got Alex, and you got an NES with some games you know, and some you might not. Will it even work? Who knows? Nintendo Switch Online isn't very good. The first public vote of Season 4 begins Monday, April 18th. So don't miss it, Mr. Bean. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Episode 6. Of Brett and Alex and an NES. We're still here. We're still with this weird NES. Uh, how are you doing, Brett? I'm, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I feel placid. There's something about the palettes, the color of this palette uh, on this title screen that's reminding me of being a very small kid. Like preschool, daycare era, you know? Yeah. These are the types of colors that we dealt with and not loved this is like this is like before whoa, whoa, whoa. They don't speak for me i'm yeah. like i said i'm feeling kind of i'm feeling kind of like i feel like someone's rubbing the back of my head and putting me down for a nap right now like oh, i'm you're very a little you get smoothed out i'm very calmed by this title screen i mean oh never mind i ate it never oh. mind oh. oh welcome everybody it's mighty bomb jack i say that like i know who he is i don't i don't know anything about mighty bomb jack did it just st is this me? Oh. Yeah. I thought you pressed something. No, it just sort of started. So Mighty Bomb Jack is patient, but not infinitely patient. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'm collecting bombs. I don't really know anything about this game at all. I've heard of it a million times. Just kidding. This is actually the prototype that got turned into, script-wise, Die Hard with a Vengeance. That skeleton just turned into a bird. Yeah, uh, uh, that, that turned into Jeremy other, Irons' character. Am I just like, is this like just getting progressively more dangerous? Am I that part to, did just indeed get make it into the final script, of course. But that's just general storytelling oh. with escalating the danger, you know. Okay, wait. I don't understand what's letting me open these. <clears throat> is it just jumping off of them? I don't think so. I... What, is that really it? What is my goal? Mm. I don't really feel in that much danger. Mm, mm. I just Whoa. feel like that's the privilege of living in the type of society we do, you know? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, my lack of, like, my lack of peril that I'm feeling in Mighty Bomb Jack is because it's, life, life's easy here. Right. <laughs> oh, yo, I can, like, I can, like, you see that? I can, like, kind of stall my shit like Batman. Yeah, float. You can float down a little bit. Ah! So do you, you think get, you're unable, you can't touch, like, land on any of these guys and, oh, you really did become Batman, didn't you? I'm vengeance, I'm vengeance. <laughs> Mighty if Bomb I'm Jack also eventually became the script for Batman Forever. I'm afraid to touch them when they're, like, colorful. That is also a part of being young, privileged, and uh, white. <laughs> uh, <anyway. laughs> Colorful is like the worst word to like turn into a hate word. Dude, give it five years. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if like the, you know, the new PC acceptable thing instead of person of color is colorful. I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, <laughs> you know what colorful sounds like? Hmm. It sounds patronizing. It sounds like somebody who's like really annoying or loud or mean. And you're trying to make it seem like they're like a normal member of society. So I say, see. They're, they're, I see. They're, they're colorful. Right. <clears throat> but what you're really trying to say is uh, they're annoying as hell. They're like loud or brush, brush, obnoxious, brash? obnoxious. They're like a human brush, just so abrasive. <laughs> like something you find at Lowe's, man. Anyway, this game is called Mighty Brush Jack. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Is did I like perfect this level just now, or did I like take a really long time to do something that was should have been? Oh. Nice. I'm not sure I understand the goal. I'm not touching any of the enemies. That bomb is going to explode? It's kind of oh, interesting think, like, that, like, the things that you would uh, you, you instinctively try and avoid in a game, bombs, seems like you definitely want to go for here. I wonder if... Oh! Bomb oh. Jack. 
I'm also led to wonder what? if he has different reactions to the different enemy types, or are they all just flavor of you die in one hit? Oh. What the f- are Every you? time I press B, I change color? <laughs> Am I like- is there more- is there like more of a menu to this game than I'm aware of? <clears throat> no? You look like Zurin the Ah Batman right now. Yeah. My bat radio. Oh! Now you just... Goku? For some reason now I can like run right into the chests. Maybe that's like part of my suit. So Mighty Bomb Jack has different snap. abilities based on his suit? Yeah? I'm just pressing it and I can change colors. It seems like I, I don't know what I'm picking up that's letting me change colors, but I am like now I can't change again. Maybe it's those little coins. You sure are oh, colorful. Skeleton. I sure am colorful. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's the most like Jim Gaffigan I've ever sounded. <laughs> yeah. I sure am colorful. Oh, <clears throat> oh Mama says I'm colorful. Oh. Oh, this is like Elden Ring. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's right. This is just like. Tell me how it's like Elden Ring. I want to hear. How is it like Elden Ring? <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Uh, how, tell me how that was like Elden Ring. There's <laughs> the mismatched outfits and 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 every that you you usually don't expect there to be a bug there. I stand corrected. Damn, you got me. Shit. This is just Dude. like Elden Ring. Don't you have egg on I your face, I do not- bread. I- I- I tried to read the little, uh, like, blurb about this game to, like, learn how to play it, and it's just not actually in any way explanatory. It says that each level has a, um, puzzle room and, like, a royal palace room, and that I have to, like, get all the bombs or something. I don't really know. That sounds- I mean, the last part seems kind of helpful, you know? Well, like, every time the doors- the doors only open when I get all of the bombs in the room, it seems like. And something is allowing me to change outfit colors, but I don't know rightly what <laughs> outfits- the different outfits do, but Ted is right, like, I think the method for opening chests is to jump off of them, but then also, there's like, some colors that I- that I wear, where I can just walk into the chests, but that doesn't seem like. But there's two colors that do that, and I can't imagine they're just both the same power. I don't know. Well, you know, we can science this bitch and do some controlled experiments if you want to. That's true. I'm down to do that. Um, mm -hmm. When I get when I get game over, I I wonder what's going to happen too. I wonder if it's going to be like continued progression, or if I'm like in a like password style game, or if this is an RPG or what. Oh shit. My GDV was 47. <laughs> Your God wow. V. Your God V is 47. My God V. Dude, see, I told you this was like Elden Ring. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Oh, I took a picture of the screen real quick. No big deal. Now I'm hand I handed you the controller. Yeah? All right, let me see. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Such a weird... <laughs> Such a weird, like, tally-ho motion. Mighty bomb jack, mighty bomb jack. The, the jumps are like nuts. The controls are pretty good, though. It was good to me. So maybe I've been on the first level this whole time. Like maybe that other room was just another room in the in the in the uh, you know same stage. I don't know because I I noticed that when I got to that second room and died, it took me back here. I'm not um, worried about B what changes. is a stage and what is not yeah. a stage. I am merely well, I'm worried about survival. Like how to. I'm just trying to figure out like what the the aim is. I don't even know if you're if you're in an open world or if you're in like a Alex. If you're in a stage, Alex, I don't know what to do with you. Even <laughs> uttering the words "open world" in the 20 well, minutes you, it'll take to film this episode, I don't even know what to well, do. But with you know you. what I mean? Like, I just mean like, <laughs> is this like an open map that you can like traverse? Or is this like, like Elden Ring? Well, yeah. I mean, that's the only game that's ever had that. You just so you how go else am I supposed to refer left to it? To the right. But can you go back to the left if you need to? And then does the left lead somewhere else eventually? You well, know what I'm saying? Like, I'll check. Yes, you can. You can go back to the left. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. That's like that's the thing I'm trying to. It seems like they want you to get all the bombs and move to the next room. Yes, that's exactly but, what it was. <laughs> I don't know why you're questioning these things. It seemed very clear. Because I, I don't, I, the pieces don't add up to me yet. 
like what the mechanics are of this game. See, I'm uh, just trying to figure it out. It's like you know, it's not like it can't just be Mario. The door after I get all the bombs, but something's not on the up and up here. Well, there's all this other shit going on, isn't there? Like there's like there's all these things I'm picking up. I don't know what the coins are for. They're not I don't telling know what me the... everything. All right, I'm gonna be. Oh, what's up with those dudes up there? I think they. Oh, did you see them in the top left up there? Yeah, like that's like some like uh, internet video that's like, we noticed that on this <laughs> stage there's some <laughs> demons coming in from outside the stage. Oh, oh, oh! Damn, that was like a controlled ass jump. I gotta say. Oh shit! Oh shit! So this feels like Pac-Man to me. When there's a moment when you can like transform all the enemies into like yeah. currency and get them. That feels yeah, pretty good. That's a good. That's a good feeling in any video oh. game. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Roll back. Yeah, there was a little bit of a little jumpy there. Oh! Mm. That. That was nuts. <sighs> Dude, I was right and at the also, end, too. It, also, it was a jellyfish. Just had to point that out that, like, that's another, yet another similarity between this and uh, the game of the summer, Elden Ring. Mm, mm, that's true. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry I made fun of you, because now that you mention it, I'm noticing one other thing that, that like really makes this like Elden Ring. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm playing as a, a, a character in a video game. Like a guy? Like yeah. a person? Like I'm playing as yeah. a person. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's something to think about. Okay, so it seems like orange definitely is like any time you touch a chest, it opens. Yeah, that's the Goku color. you have to jump off the top. Oh. And then... Hold on. Uh-huh, okay. Oh! And I can't change color again. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but now what's green? Is it the same? <clears throat> And that automatically made me go back. So I think... Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. Well, check out the numbers in the top. T44. Yeah. So the, the, the huge number has to be score, right? The uh, number in the middle that's going up, yeah, you get it more every time you pick up a bomb. Oh, fuck. And then let's see what happens when you pick up the 100. Yeah, it added 100 to your score. Right. Then you also got T41. T40. Oh, I think... The, the T is the time, but it's just like really long seconds. Yeah, it doesn't go down that okay. often. Okay, yeah. we're, you know, the three of us grown men are slowly deciphering this. I love it. Okay. And then M5. M. Okay, so I just, just pressed B and M went down. Yo, okay, so you think those are your charges? Yeah. And you have to cycle through, so that's like part of the strat? So maybe green, the whole thing with the green is that it does a, a coin blast. Yeah, I think you might be right. Okay. Oh! Look at that. I don't- I still don't understand what the bombs are about, because, like, nothing is exploding. Get the fudge out of here, bro! Okay. How many M's do I have? Four? Alright, I'm gonna use them, too. Watch. Okay, okay. I gotta give it, I gotta give it, a, I, you know, credit where credit's due. Like, the controls are good. Like, they're not the same as Mario. They're not as, like, weirdly kinetic as Mario or something like that. But they're really, like, oh. understandable. And they do, like, Bomb Jack moves how you want them. And it's really easy to jump and fly around. I feel like try there's the different levels. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no. Because I was agreeing with what you said. But I think I am discovering some stuff. Because I went down to M4 when I went to one costume. And then while I was yeah. in that costume, I went to the next one. It went down to M3 very briefly. And then it went right back up to M4. But I think that's because I collected something out of a chest that made it oh, go right back up. Oh, it's the monster coin. Yeah. That coin with the face on it made you go from M4 to M5, I just saw. But yeah, I was just going to say, the, the actual the flutter mechanic is, like, really touchy and good. Like, it's really, like, you can really control your descent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you can, like, squeeze right between these guys. Well, if there's one thing I like doing... Squeezing between two dudes? You better believe it, too. <laughs> I'm not driving, make it three. Dudes. Squeezing in between three dudes? Oh how do you get God. between three people? That's like... That's like as, as deep as how many holes does a straw have? Oh! Uh, this game is fun. Like... I, uh... So now that I've actually played this game... 
I'm reminded of something that not something that wouldn't be on a Tiger Electronics. Oh, how do yeah. how, did you you could take back control by the way? I think I think so. Let me try. Not oh, yeah. something that would be on Tiger Electronics because those things are just the worst. No, but it's rather than, you, uh, I mean, something that like, like this game. just feels like something I would play on my Game Boy back in the day. It does have a very Game Boy y thing. I think there is a bomb jack. I don't know what that's for. Oh, you think like Mighty I, Bomb Jack was the 8 bit version? And, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I, I like somehow have some memory of there being a bomb jack. That's wait, 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 don't press anything. Press the B button now. Nothing, right? Because your M is zero. Yeah, can't change. Okay. Oh my god, that's so scary. The chunkiest okay, wait, but now, now check it out. Yeah. I got this coin yeah. from one, and now I can change. Yep. Now you're Batman. Now I can't change. So I wonder what Batman does. Uh, yeah, I haven't figured out Because the, the Goku outfit, the fucking Naruto, you can, like, walk into chess and shit. Yeah, and the green one seems like you can also walk into chess, but it also triggers... Yeah, the uh, coin rush. Yeah. So what the hell does Batman do? Hmm. I don't know. What does Batman Can do? I not open chests when I'm red? In this video article, we will analyze the ineffectuality of the Batman and the counterintuity of his personal vendetta against crime in Gotham and how his, as Bruce Wayne, uh, being a humanitarian, would ultimately serve him and the city of Gotham better. Oh, man. Do you ever think that, like, people focus a little bit too much on, like, the central themes of Batman when they write stories about him. Uh, example? Like, so many stories about Batman are, like, about him and his parents and, like, and, like, uh, his feelings about crime. And, like, I mean, maybe this is just my perspective as somebody who's read, like, I don't know what the, st the statistic is, but it's something ridiculous. Like, one-third of DC's books are Bat books or something right, like right, that. Right, right, right. He's pretty popular. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I read I read all of them. You know what I mean? Like I actually do read every bat book almost. Uh, that's not true. That's not even close to true. But I read a lot more than most people do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. Like so many of the stories are just that same worn territory of like maybe you know like what if Bruce like what if his whole vendetta against crime is like what if that's like the problem? You know, like why isn't it ever just like there's like a guy who's like a like a like a like a rat man and he that's the movie <laughs> i think they both you know happen I, mean? I think they both happen all the time like i think the most salient thing you said is that there's a lot of bat books all the time and i think you get both those types of stories almost incessantly like any yeah, particular right. month there's a storyline going on where it's like you know you know typical batman questioning you know what if what he's doing is right and you know, re-examining his origins and shit like that. And there's also one that's just like a th like a three issue arc where it's like, who killed these puppies? You know, they're, you know, it's both. Yeah, I think I think I think actually specifically what I'm responding to more than like across the board Batman stories is that like a lot of people who are like coming from the outside and doing a Batman thing are like this is like the like it, it's they I, it, it feels like they're trying to be profound but it's like the most well-worn territory in like the batman mythos sounds like you try to talk about somebody you're just not naming names no it's just literally like every time like you get like a new voice on batman mm -hmm. or something they like the first thing they do is they're like what if batman like what if the idea of batman is like messed up you know what i mean like i don't hey, know man, like, i'll tell you this much if i had one opportunity to write a batman story i would definitely be trying to tell the best story possible like the one that's most interesting to me personally so maybe that's just what's going down for them i don't know i i you know i'm not gonna like you know assume that they're like all crass it's just funny to me that like a lot of the time the first thing that people do when they get their hands on batman is they're like pearls cascading down you know, well, I, don't, I, think, I don't. I think that you are what? greedy. What? 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 Uh, what did I do wrong? You See, got this is why I want to know how stuff. this game works. This oh, you is have why to survive, I want to know how this game is. Bro. You're too. Greedy. I knew there was something that I was missing. I was. I was. You I was are trying greedy. to play Mario. Dude. Is this just like fucking dodgeball? You are greedy. It said. <laughs> Go to the torture room. Maybe is this like my mom? Bad. They were like, why'd you get all the treasures? And it's like, what? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I feel like I, <laughs> I knew that was something that I was missing. Oh. How could you be so narrow-minded? 
And then you have to stay in here for a long time. Why is it the timer going down? Oh, it, I have to jump. It counts oh. jumps. Oh. Oh my god. Fascinating. This game is fascinating. What the fuck is the goal? What are, what are, what are they trying to teach me? Why am I collecting <laughs> Just bombs? Do. Just go from the left to the right. Don't even... Yeah, collect the bombs, <laughs> but don't get the treasures too much. This is like the Metal Gear Solid of Mario. Like, it's like 80% of the treasures. This is the pearl necklace, uh, <laughs> like, Batman story of Mario games right now. Mm. They're like, you took too many coins, fat boy. Wow. Do you think maybe you created Bowser yourself? Maybe you're just as crazy as Bowser is in the Koopa Kingdom. Maybe you belong in here with the shy guys. Oh. Dude, why'd you have to be so greedy? God. <laughs> why'd you have to be so greedy? Is this just like what happens? Like, am it, like, is this capitalism? Like, should I just still be trying to get as much as I can? If this were capitalism, they would have never thrown you in here. I'd have the op I'd have the option to pay to get out of there. Right. Oh, still so greedy. I don't know what I'm supposed to fucking do, a bro. Greedy, greedy gameplay. Everything that I have in my arsenal is about getting inside of chests. And then I did get inside a chest, and the game was like, "Why did you do that?" <laughs> you are greedy. Every single, every single you power are. I have is like, this lets you get into chests without having to open the chests. I guess I'm just gonna leave some treasure behind. Are you yeah. just stealing the monster's treasure, maybe? Oh. Like, these guys just, like, have jobs, and they're, yeah. like... They're just, like, trying to defend their property. Oh, come on, Bomb Jack. There's gotta be some run out there on YouTube where it's like, Mighty Bomb Jack 100% survived all greedy torture rooms. <laughs> Mighty Bomb Jack is like a Buddhist game about like not having any possessions. <laughs> That's why you have a bomb is because you're like blowing up the possessions. Did you just pick up the Sphinx? I think I picked up a secret Sphinx that led me into the treasure room. Oh, <laughs> I would love... Test? Oh, What's that? oh, okay. I would love that? if you were sent into the greedy room in here. <laughs> it's just like, is the greedy room again? Well, I mean, like, I would love if you were like, if we didn't get to the greedy room yet, and you were like, oh, cool, a reward room, kind of. And you then, like, while in there, they were like, you're fucking greedy. Go to the torture room. You it just, it would have stung all the more. You know what I mean? I'm still stung. I'm shook. My whole, like, worldview is shook right now about, like, what this game is about and what I'm trying to do. <laughs> What's that chest? <laughs> Dude, that be careful. Oh, oh! Yo, Batman gets in the black chest in the in the in the in gold, the gold chest. chest. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Come on, Bomb Jack! You fucking mighty boy! Why do you, why do you completely disregard gravity? You're greedy. <laughs> you fucked up the laws of physics. This is your punishment. You're greedy. You're just punishment. You're greedy. Okay, I'm gonna avoid <laughs> your trash. Okay, I'm gonna be Batman. Get this. Just in case it's something. What was that sound? Does that does that mean I'm greedy? Did it say you're too greedy? I don't know. I don't remember. I was too flabbergasted. To remember the exact You are words. a very greedy piece of shit. Go to the jail. <laughs> okay, so there's also these rooms, it seems like, in between all the big rooms, there's like a little... Right. Little I don't arena. Know. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a strategy to this, or if I'm just like, still, like, same drill. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the strategy in these rooms. Uh, get the bombs. Oh, fuck. Dude, what do I have to do to get over 47, dude? You're too greedy. That's your right. greedy divergency uh, variant. <laughs> Such a this this game is <laughs> demented. Uh, Mighty Bomb Mighty Jack, Bomb I think, Jack is the Tecmo. coolest game I've seen yet on this show. I I'm just surprised at every every single thing that happened from him jumping off the title screen to 
me being sent to a torture room for collecting treasures in a video game. I don't know why they even put a score on the screen if you can't get it too high. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Shout outs to Mighty Bomb Jack. We'll be back. We've got a couple more episodes of NES later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated. Bye. Don't, don't, don't believe in magic. Don't, don't, don't be so quick to walk away. Don't, don't, don't believe in magic. We gotta play the game. PlayStation all the time.